Hi everyone, and welcome to this plant tutorial bite for Oxygen Not Included. As always, make sure to check out the plants tutorial bite if you haven't already, for an overview of the plant mechanics. In this plant tutorial bite, we're quickly looking at balm lilies, a simple and helpful plant. Balm lilies like balmy, warm conditions, and are found in caustic biomes with the chlorine they grow in. They are grown from balm lily seeds, which only make balm lily plants, or can be fed to Paku. Let's jump straight into their info, and balm lilies are 2 tiles high and give a decor of plus 15 at a 2 tile range. As I mentioned, they need a hotter environment of between 35 and 85 degrees Celsius. And for atmosphere, they need chlorine between 150 grams and 10 kilograms, so a little management is needed. Now the unique thing about balm lilies is that when grown domestically, they still need no fertilizer at all, like wild plants. Of course, as they still grow four times more quickly when domestic, there is no point to ever grow them wild on purpose, and that does mean they are very easy to farm. There are a couple of reasons to do so, but by far the most important of these is in feeding Drecos. Drecos eat the plant growth, not the flowers, so they should be left with auto harvest disabled, as seen in the harvest overlay on the Y hotkey. But they simply need to be in a chlorine room, and commonly with a split hydrogen atmosphere for the Drecos, to also grow their coats. Due to the chlorine, Atmos suits are advisable. As the balm lilies need no fertilizer, this makes Dreco ranching completely sustainable, which is very helpful. For a full guide to Drecos, see the dedicated Critter Tutorial Bite. Then, as a second, much less common use, balm lily flowers are used in the apothecary to make medical packs. These cure slime lung when used in the sick bay by a dupe with the bedside mana skill, so can be quite useful. One balm lily flower and one kilogram of phosphorite are used to make one pack. Also, although the flowers don't spoil by themselves, they can be composted into dirt, with each one giving one kilogram. As balm lilies need no fertilizer, this is a sustainable source, but you would need a lot of plants to do this. Each domestic plant makes two flowers every 12 cycles, so you need six plants to make one kilogram per cycle of dirt, which means a lot of plants, and you would need 120 plants to match a single pip. So overall this isn't really an efficient way to make dirt, but it is possible. Now, again as balm lilies need no fertilizer, that also opens them up to potential uses with mutated plants. There are two good ones in particular, and lysi balm lilies can make 600 kilocalories of meal lice for free every 12 cycles, so you'd need 20 plants per dupe. That is the same amount of plants as wild meal would, and only makes meal lice, but I suppose it is something. The other mutation you might consider is exuberant which reduces the growth cycle to 3 cycles and makes 4 kilograms of rot on harvest. So that's 1.33 kilograms per cycle of free rot that could be used to feed poker shells, but you'd need 52.5 plants for a single poker shell, so this also isn't very efficient. And for comparison, a single arbor tree feeding lumber into an ethanol distiller will make almost 20 times as much polluted dirt, so would definitely be the better route. For a guide to arbor trees, see the dedicated tutorial bite. But balm lilies really are that simple, so that's all I need to cover. I hope this helps you farm these useful and simple plants, and thanks for watching.